hi again, Chrono Keeper users. Uh, given the quality that I upload my videos at, you probably can't see it, but on the bottom right it says version 0.7.0, .0, which is what I'm showing off right now. If you've been following the experimental updates, you're only going to notice there's about two new features, but if you haven't, then you're going to notice that there's like three new features, and then a bunch of bug fixes. Uh, bugs like the map causing the program to run slowly, and if you've been using it, the text-to-speech alerts have been basically freezing the program until they finished. Uh, that stuff's all been fixed. Um, I've added a couple commands. I'll get to those in a minute. First, I'd like to point out the big feature of version 0.7.0, .0, which is the fact that I'm able to speak this much without setting off any, you know, false positives. That's because I added push to talk. If I disable it by unchecking the push to talk box and I continue to talk at you, timers are going to start going off, especially if I say something like start and then follow it with some words except that didn't actually start any timers. Neither did that. Uh, it's doing something. It seems to be cancelling or removing timers. Uh, <laughs> that seems to be the big thing for it to do right now. So I'm just going to click a bunch of timers on. Remove last timer. That's still there. Remove last timer. Remove last timer. That's all fine and good, um, but I also added cancel all timers. Cancel all timers. It really doesn't like responding to commands if you just lead right into it, uh, which is one of the benefits of the push to talk feature. There's also a cancel all timers button if you don't want to say it if you're on Skype or something. Uh, so I'm going to put push to talk back on. And now I can talk willy-nilly, say start, you know, blue timer, start red timer, nothing's happening because push to talk is on. Um, I, I chose tilde, or the grave key, depending on how you call it, as the, uh, the default. Uh, it seems like a good spot because, you know, your hand's up on the top left of your keyboard anyway. So if I hold that down, start, really? Like, it... In. Remove last timer. So, um. since I pressed it while I was in the middle of saying something, it apparently wanted to start a timer. But anyway, if I hold that down, in. start dragon timer, start baron timer. Um. Now it's turned off. I can say start ward timer. Nothing's happening, as it shouldn't. In. Cancel all timers. Uh, it's it's giving you a little text-to-speech cue because I haven't really decided on a sound for letting you know that it's listening and that it stopped listening, but that's all working fine and well. Uh, if you click the register PTT hotkey, it pops up a little window and you can change your key just by pressing a button. Uh, if I pressed, you know, spacebar, that's actually a really bad example. It's, what would, what's a key that you would press for push to talk? Maybe backspace. Let's do backspace. And click OK. It changes down underneath the button to let you know that it's there. And now if I press tilde, nothing's happening. But if I hit backspace, In. it turns on. Um. So, you know, there's that. Um, I also added another fun little command. It's not a really huge deal, but In. who needs a map? I need a map. Maybe um. you'll use it, maybe you won't. Uh, I kind of just added it as a little joke, but, you know, that's there. You can use it, or you cannot if you don't want to. Um, I'm pretty sure that's just about it. I certainly hope I haven't forgotten anything. Um, I'll be putting this up on the website. If you haven't been there since, you know, you first downloaded the program, I revamped it a little using the help of a guy who's name I can't really pronounce, but it's like Quenamaiku or something. A guy on Reddit, uh, he gave me a design and I went with it and, you know, tried to make the website look a little neater, more organized. So that's been done. Uh, it's going to have all the voice packs listed on the right. 
for when they exist and as well as that there will be a section where you can download experimental updates if you want to you know if you're having troubles I may have fixed it in an experimental update or I may have broken something that's working that's why they're not going to be recommended uh, but yeah that's basically it I'm going to stop rambling at you now um, I'm going to also start using Twitter to you know announce when I release an experimental build or something because that's easier than making a video every time <laughs> uh, so yeah I've already said it, but I'll say it again. That's it. And I'll see you later.